Whenever you call Jesus Lord, you are calling him God, even if you don't know it. Here's why. In Philippians 2, Paul says that, For this reason also God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is a reference to Isaiah 45, where God repeatedly says that he is the only God, and that there are no others. As it says in Isaiah 45 towards the end, Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. I have sworn by myself, the word has gone out from my mouth in righteousness, and will not turn back, that to me every knee will bow, every tongue will swear allegiance. At the end of this Old Testament passage, God says every knee will bow and every tongue will swear allegiance to him. But Paul says that it is to Jesus that every knee will bow and every tongue confess. As if this weren't enough, Romans 10.9 does the same thing. It says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. To prove his point, Paul quotes Joel 2.32 from the Greek Old Testament called the Septuagint. This is the Bible that many people use during the time of Jesus. Paul says, For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, abounding in riches for all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So whenever Paul quotes the Greek Old Testament, he always says, Hokurios, or the Lord, in place of where Yahweh's name would be. Keep in mind that the New Testament was written in Greek, so when he quotes the Greek Old Testament, he says, Hokurios. Yahweh is the most personal name of God which he revealed to Moses. But here Paul is saying that Jesus is Hokurios. He's saying that Jesus is the Lord spoken of in the Old Testament. As a result, Paul is saying that Jesus has God's very name, Yahweh.